Good morning, folks. First things first, we have another sun dive in Comet. This is indeed another one from the Kreutz family along the same pathway we just saw a sun dive in Comet. This is something good to watch today. You'll remember the Arctic ice data page. To quickly review, around this time last year we saw a record low Arctic sea ice and a record high Antarctic sea ice. And you'll remember for the last few weeks, 2013 has been well below average, at least up north, but still nowhere near that record we were setting last year. Well, now the experts agree, saying that indeed the Arctic will not be breaking the records from last year in terms of ice mountain coverage. This video is from NASA, Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, and it's linked below. You'll remember Taiwan and China on high alert for the second typhoon in a week. Pictures coming out of these areas put the Western world weather extremes into perspective. South of Mexico, the story stays. We don't expect a major event, but Baja, SoCal, and the Four Corners are going to feel this one big time. Top watch zone otherwise is Ireland and the UK. Power low almost crested, and I'm betting it's pretty hot east of that due to the northward drive in Norway, Sweden, and Finland. The sun has surely awoken. Primary eruption is seen at the right coming off the western limb beautiful in multiple wavelengths. This eruption actually dives southward on the heels of another eruption that is going due south. No chance of earth impact, but at 2,000 kilometers per second, it would have been a kill shot potential. Lots of ejecta headed south over the last few days, including incoming CMEs, but we'll get back to that. The solar eruptions have been filaments, not flares. Just as quickly as the sun became peppered with spots, it's now in decay and turning back to X-ray quiet. The high-speed coronal hole stream may be waning as the density rises in turn, but we expect much stronger signatures as the two aforementioned CMEs expected to begin impacts any moment now. They combine with minimally open umbral fields, waning coronal hole influence, but the beginning of 48 hours of conjunctions between these four celestial bodies and the watch score holds at 7 from last night, with Chile kicking things off this morning. Great shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.